it will be a game changer. Redmond PD Chief Daryl Lowe Very exciting. is taking his police work to new heights. We responded to bank robbers. We uh, responded to people who had fled from our officers. But right now, under FAA rules, if you want to fly a drone, it does require a visual observer. You have to have another person stand outside and watch it while it's in flight, keeping an eye out for planes, balloons, and more. It takes a toll on staffing resources and limits how far the drone can fly. However, there is technology available that we are uh, working with the uh, FAA to validate or uh, uh, prove the concept. That technology available? lives within the four walls of this office in Kirkland. On the ground, on a tripod, for example, and then it's looking up at the airspace and it's clearing everything in the airspace from the ground. Echodyne radar, it works in tandem with a drone as a first responder, also called DFR. This is the one that would be used for DFR, okay. um, mounted you know, on a building somewhere. They're partnering with Seattle-based Brink, which makes the drones Redmond PD just purchased. Their particular product is, is going to be a game changer. The three are now working to prove the radar's safety to the FAA. Now with the FAA making more and more approvals, we feel you know very good about it. And that will be the next uh, game-changing innovation that the Redmond Police Department will uh, you know bring to this community. And it's becoming more and more feasible every day. Two weeks ago, for the first time ever, the FAA authorized drones to fly in Texas without visual observers. One waiver to do the same has been submitted here based on the tech we're talking about here. If authorized, Brink is hoping more police departments will follow in Redmond's footsteps.